more you know who you are and what you want. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Honestly, I have not been doing a lot of knitting recently. I think I'm just trying to relax, get ready for life. This video is just kind of a reveal of the cardigan that I finally finished after like a month. It's based upon the Simonette arm sweater. I really was in love with it. I thought it looked so nice. Perfect for summer looks. Like you can pair it with like all white. You can pair it with um, dresses. It looks good with everything. This isn't like a normal video of mine. This is really just like a lookbook and then me just doing a yarn haul because I got yarn recently. I've been stocking up for absolutely no reason because we all know I have so much yarn already. I guess I'm gonna do the reveal like right away. This is it. It's super long like the sleeves are crazy Like I think I overdid it, but the shoulders kind of go droop down straight into the arm And so the arm is just really the centerpiece of this adding this kind of triangle decrease effect at the bottom and it's pretty basic at the back. Yeah, I think it took me a really long time because I was using 3.5 millimeters. I think I will definitely be wearing this out. You'll see on my try on, I do like looks. I thought it was really nice. We'll be writing up a pattern for this cardigan and she will be out soon. I just haven't had really the time yet. I just need some sort of motivation to get me there. <laughs> if you guys haven't joined, we're doing a Twitch knit along. So we're doing socks, which is amazing. I'll show you my progress as well. Oh, it kind of looks kind of gimpy, but I mean, okay. I'm still getting used to two and a half millimeter. It's so tiny, like, come on, give me a break. But this is really fun little ribbed sock. Hopefully we'll finish her up soon in the streams, but you can catch me on Thursdays. Okay, well, since I'm showing you all my whips, this is my progress on, if you remember the marshmallow yarn that I got from We Are Knitters. Um, I am in love with how it's turning out. I told myself I was gonna do garter stitch, but we ended up doing stockinette because I'm really scared that there isn't enough yarn. So here we are doing this. I never wear anything like this. This is like out of my comfort zone, but I'm feeling like a little cute. Like I feel like with chunky yarn, you're allowed to be like pastel and cute. And I don't know, just like whimsical and just, you know, gorgeous. So. Decided to do a lookbook on the sweater because I didn't have any footage of me knitting it. So here it is. Look at me, looking snatched. I am wearing a dress from American Apparel. They had it like a long time ago. The glasses are from Oakenfort. I thought that this went really nice with black. I feel like you could wear any sort of like black dress with this and it will look great. The bag is my dad's for some reason. It looks amazing on me. So yeah, I wanted to also try all white. You'll see me in this amazing set. Uh, the top is from Julie White. I don't know. I bought it a while ago and the pants I cut from Zara because they were like 10 bucks. And I actually low-key think I look so good in these. <laughs> um, the glasses are... AliExpress, I got them like super cheap because I'm not someone who really loves to buy really expensive sunglasses because I lose them or break them or whatever. Also, please don't take this very seriously. I was just trying on clothes being goofy. Um, this is an old hand-me-down bag from my mom. I added this like chain to it, which kind of makes it like a shoulder bag. I like for some reason felt like I was Suede Brooks, but like I'm not her at all. So <laughs> anyway. Uh, the third look, I took myself a little bit seriously. I'm wearing Calvin Klein, like vintage mom jeans, Zara crop top that looks like my skin tone. So it's really deceiving. I, 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 I don't know. I think this cardigan is just really stylish and it's very trendy and unique and something not everyone really has. The arms are super long, so they bunch up kind of uh, near the, the wrists, but I think that's the look. I'm pretty sure it's the look. I wanted to see if it could be a scarf and it could be, but I would never. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like an affiliate ambassador for Knit Crates now. And Knit Crates is a monthly subscription um, kind of box that they send you each month of like um, cool yarns, like yarns, like surprise yarns. Really good quality. I really love that they're really good for the environment. Like they offset all of your packages and they're eco-friendly. So it's just like a really great place to support. They reached out to me and they sent me this yarn. I just bought some yarn from them uh, the other day. And so hopefully I can show you guys that one. It's like 
bright green, bright orange. I'm so ready for like color in my life. Um, Cause usually I'm not someone who loves color. I don't know, like I could cry. Like I've never, I've never worked with silk. I've never worked with mohair. So it has both and wool. Like it's such good quality. It's only like 30 bucks each month. I am gonna show you me unraveling it. I've never caked any, like I've never caked. So this is a hank, I think. I've never caked a hank before, so I'm really excited. I just got my... I just got this, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. I've never had something so odd in my entire life. Uh, see how it goes. It comes with two 100 gram pieces, so I'm really excited. I really wanna make a vest if I can out of these two if I can I'll cry a little it comes with all these other accessories like it came with this heart like measuring tape I've never had a measuring tape so I'm definitely going to use that and it comes with this like cute little book for the month it tells you all the specific things about it and all the yarns and it gives you some free patterns which I really think is really cool I also have a code which is crazy uh, why people are giving me codes, I really have no idea. You can use the code BLISS20 for 20% off your first month, which I think is such a good deal. You can try it out, you can see it. It's really, I think this is like such a cool idea for people who want to experiment with their yarn. If you want to try new things and try different, like small enough things and at a good price and ah, ah, ah. I, I am so excited to wind these, are you crazy? I think having a winder and a swifter really just I am a professional now, and that's the story. I was watching The Mindy Project. I was in love with it back in high school, and rewatching it makes me just want to cry all over again because I didn't realize how funny I was as a child. Um, yeah, so if you've never used a Swifter before, you kind of unravel it, you cut all the ties that wrap around, you kind of find the ends, and then you put the end to your winder, and it just, oh, it, it just, it's like a perfect process. It just, I don't know how to, exp it's just, it's so easy and it's so simple and it's really therapeutic. I didn't realize how beautiful the Swifter is and just watching it wind. I am definitely going to be buying more Hanks in the future or um, I would love to spin my own yarn and then make Hanks. I have been really into looking into hand-dyed like mohair and wool because it looks so amazing on Etsy. It, I'm so tempted, but they're so expensive. So I have been on this weird kind of mohair binge or just looking for mohair. I am so tempted to buy some because I think it would look really great if I incorporated them in some sort of wool piece. I, I bought some like acrylic mixed with mohair. So I'm really excited for that to come. I bought it off of Hobby, but as you'll see, I'm crazy. <laughs> um, I've bought a lot of yarn recently and I don't know what this is, so let's figure it out together. This should just be unboxing ASMR, but I, I have an addiction. I really did buy too much at once, but I think with reason because I bought these off Nip Picks because I was looking for a specific yarn with a specific color range and I needed like five specific colors and they just had it and it was out of stock for such a long time. So I just jumped on the opportunity. Um, I got another one. <laughs> I ordered like three big stuff, three big boxes of stuff from Nitpicks, so. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was this intense of a color, but I guess we're working with it. I don't know if you can tell with the yarn that I got, but I have like three pieces that I have in mind that I really want to make and I'm excited. Oh damn, they really just put her in here. 
Okay, yeah, so this was like a bunch of yarn that I have ideas for. This is for the other project. The blue is for the giveaway, which is really exciting. All these other colors are, I have this kind of idea of um, kind of like a landscape kind of sweater. And so I had to buy so many colors for it. The yellow is also for the blue sweater. Um, yeah, and then I bought some really nice hanks because I want to recreate something as well. So these are all things that I have in the idea box of my mind and she will be out soon. 